Email 31, I had a question coming out of section 8.1, number 49. And here we were given some traits for an ellipse, and we were asked to find the equation of that ellipse. And your basic equation looks like this, right? And, and we have to figure out what H is, what K is, what A, and what B is. Now, I'm going to explain why I put the A under the X variable in just a moment. Let me, let me draw out what we have. So we have our center at 4, 2. And then we have a vertex a little bit further down here at 9, 2. And if my vertex is here, my center is here, and the, and the thing to take note of is that I'm moving from left to right, as I move um, from that center to that vertex, since I'm moving in the horizontal direction, right, this is my A value here, that difference in, in terms of the X coordinate of the center and the X coordinate of the vertex. And since I'm moving left, right, that means it's a horizontally, um, it, it's a, it's like, I call it like a smushed ellipse, right? It's going to look something like this. Like it, I, I think of it as like a circle and then I kind of sat on it. And if it's going to look like that, that means the A value, the larger number is going to be under that X term. So let me erase all of this because there was a lot in there. Now we, we actually get a lot right out the gate. They told me the center was four, two. So I'm going to put a four in here for H and a two in here for K. I was also given, like I said, this distance here from the center to the vertex. So if we went from 4, 2 to 9, 2, that means that A value there is 5 because the difference between 9 and 4 is 5 units. So I'm actually going to have now a 5 under here for my A value, and that just leaves me with finding B. If I can find B, then I'm good to go. Well, the other piece of information that they gave us was they gave us our foci, or at least one focus, I should say. And the thing to take note of on the focus that we want to really pay attention to is that the X coordinate was changed. It was moved from the center. So if I'm starting over here at my center, instead of going to this X coordinate of four, I'm going to go two root six more units. And I don't really know what two root six is equivalent to. I, I mean, I could crunch that number on my calculator. But whatever that distance is, that distance there is C. So I know C in this case is 2 root 6. And when I start working with that, if I know C is 2 root 6 and I know A is 5, then I can use the formula that A squared minus B squared equals C squared, and I can figure out what B is equal to. And that's what you see me starting to do down here, right? So I found my C value. I'm going to use this formula. I, I find out that C squared in and of itself is 24. We know A squared is 25, and that allows me to solve for B squared. And when I do that, then I have my formula, right? I have H, K, I have A squared and B squared, and then there's my, my standard form of my ellipse. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.